It must be nice to race your hometown race, and I think people, fans appreciate the fact that you're out here. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's uh, that's the only reason why I do it. You know, I want to want to race in front of some friends that don't get to see me race uh, live. So, um, you know, although it's not my my best form, but it's still nice to get out and get get the support from the, the fans. So, what's next, Maddie? What what's the rest of your year look like? Um, it's kind of you know not as much racing now. Kind of, I just want to qualify for Kona, and. Uh, what, what yeah. race are you aiming for to qualify? I got Vine Man. Yep. Uh, next week. Next week. And then uh, maybe 54.30. Yeah. yeah. And then Kona. And Kona. A yeah. big block of training, probably. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I know Arizona was your first Ironman last year, right? That was the uh, first yeah. one. And um, you think that got you ready for Kona? I mean, it, it seems like such a, such a big change. Bye to go from this sort of racing to Kona, especially when you're out there in the lava fields, it's, it's crazy hard. Yeah, you know, um, I did uh, did Eagle Man yeah. the other week just to see, you know, similar conditions with the humidity. Yeah. And, uh, last year with the uh, the Iron Man, you know, I just, I learned a lot because I, I didn't really do enough, uh, enough training for that, mm. uh, long course training, I only had really a month and I uh, really struggled in the latter stages of the bike and struggled on the run. So, you know, for Kona, I know I need at least, you know, a good eight weeks uh, minimum, probably 12, start 12 weeks out, uh, get a good base in and, you know, six weeks out, you know, start doing some speed work again and, and uh, you know, just go out there and try to, you know, enjoy it and, you know, see if it's, if it's for me and, try to do really well and uh, you know, maybe just do a lot, we'll see.